Using a projector can create powerful visuals for video and photography. From projecting an image or video onto a subject to projecting a background, using it as a backlight or to create volume, and there's even a mapping technique that you can use to simulate 3D objects in the real world. Using a projector to improve your videos stylistically is a great idea, if you know what you're doing. I researched for weeks, and when my time came to use a projector in professional projects, I made a few mistakes. Exactly. Oh, no, no, no. You brought the bar up. Okay, back, back, back. You gotta back up. But you don't have to, because I'm gonna tell you the five things I learned after using a projector on a professional video shoot. Hello creatives, my name is Josh from Videos by Josh, and I shot for an entire week using a projector. I rented out the Panasonic PT-DZ6710 DLP projector, which I rented to use on a music video, two commercials, a photo shoot, and a testimonial video over the span of seven days. Like many people in my position, having never used a projector before, I did my research. I made sure it was bright enough, and I always made sure to project the image onto a white or near white background to preserve the contrast. Despite this, there were still some things I had to learn the hard way, and those things were. Lesson number one, learn about the type of projector you'll use for your shoot. I learned that all projectors are not created equal. The difference between a single chip DLP projector and a three chip DLP projector can make or break your project. This is because a single DLP projector shoots in sequential color, which is not camera safe. It will cause banding and it will ruin your color sensitive project. In my case, the rental house gave me a single chip DLP and I had to work around some of the issues I was facing. Shooting in sequential color means that the projector shoots red, green, and blue individually over and over again really, really fast. But when viewed by a camera, those colors will start to separate in your image. Three chip DLP projectors shoot simultaneous color, meaning that they are camera safe, as are many of the LED projectors out on the market. So make sure you know what type of projector you're using. It's not impossible to use a single DLP for your project, but if it's color sensitive work, it's good to ensure you know what projector type you're using. Three, two, one, action. Mouthwash for Christmas. The second lesson that I learned is I should know the refresh rate options of my projector. On my first test shoot with my projector, I encountered wicked stuttering and banding issues. And this is because the signal was refreshing at 59.94 Hertz, whereas my camera was recording at 24 frames per second, causing inconsistency within the image. If you want optimal smooth motion with this effect, you're going to have to sync your camera's frame rate with the refresh rate of the projector. In my case, I went in half and changed my frame rate to 29.97, half of the refresh rate of the projector, and that seemed to work great for me. The refresh rate may also depend on your connection with the projector. Many new LED projectors come with DisplayPort and HDMI options, but older projectors may come with analog connections, so it's good to know what kind of connection you're dealing with. Also, I have to say, unless your projector is very high end, slow motion may be out of the question as higher shutter speeds and frame rates will not play well with projected images. The third lesson I learned was that you should prepare to improvise mounting options for your projector. I'm gonna set the scene for you. The rental house handed me a 50 pound projector that had tiny little legs for table or floor placement and literally no other mounts. This was fine at the start, but my second commercial required me to mount the projector six feet in the air pointing straight down. So I had to get creative. I mounted a baby plate to the bottom of a thick board of wood and tied the entire thing together with ratchet straps on top of a C-stand. I'm not recommending you do this at all, but what I am saying is that most projectors are not designed to be used or mounted to film set equipment. They will not come with quarter 20 areas or places that you can clamp onto. They're typically quite fragile and should be handled with care. My advice to you is to learn about mounting options for anything more exotic than what the projector was designed to be used for. Lesson number four, you need to learn about your lens options and your throw distances. Some projectors come with interchangeable lenses. I had to learn that. I had a great zoom option which allowed me to project a 12 by 12 image from 30 feet away, and it was great to have. There was also a wide angle option on my projector which had a minimum throw distance of about two and a half meters. This worked great for some instances and not so good in others. I'd advise you, especially if you're working in smaller rooms, to check the minimum throw distance of your projector or you might be disappointed. Because if you don't, at best, you could be disappointed with the size of image you're able to project, or at worst, you may end up with a completely unusable image. And finally, lesson number five is learn about your projector's keystone adjustments. 
Sometimes you may want to project your image from the side as opposed to directly on because of limitations with your talent or location. This will create distortion in your image which could potentially be fixed by your keystone adjustments. Now, the ones for my projector were buried in the menus. Some projectors automatically adjust keystone, and if you want this to work right, you're going to have to learn the specifics of your projector unit. Those are the five things that I learned from my first collection of professional shoots with a projector. If you have any tips for using a projector, please leave them in the comments below. Make sure to subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Okay, back, back, back. You gotta back up uh, 20 seconds. Uh, you brought the bar up over the recording. What are you doing? 20 seconds. Yeah, back up, back up. Again? Yeah, back up until the king's up on, on okay. the... Uh, no, up until the king is up. You're still, well, the king you're still, is up. No, no, it's sideways. <laughs>